Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Kathleen Lights X ColourPop Dream Street Palette. This is my last Kathleen Lights video for a little while until I buy something else from her, but this is the last one from the haul, so I hope you guys aren't sick of seeing these yet. Um, this is what the palette looks like. It says Dream Street Kathleen Lights X ColourPop Shadow Palette. Um, it's got like a gold, rose gold shift to it with some white detailing with little moons and really cute little pattern. On the other side it says Dream Street and it has the names of the 12 eyeshadows. Opening it up, the packaging mirrors the outer packaging. Looks the same, really pretty. Here are the 12 shades. There is no mirror included. Just say Dream Street again. There's a closer look at them. I will go ahead and swatch these real quick for you guys. So the first row, ooh, we have a Shooting Star, which is a matte color. That's really pretty. It's like a terracotta peachy transition shade. We have Magical, which I would describe as like a creamsicle color. It's a matte again. We have Starburst, which is like a pinky bronze metallic. Twinkle, yeah, Twinkle, which is a true rose gold. It's a little more rose gold than the one next to it. The one next to it's a little more orangey copper color. Next row we have Sweet Dreams, which is very light. Let me swatch that again. Yeah, that's a really light shade. It's like a baby pink um, metallic. Then we have Water Bearer, which is a matte turquoise blue shade with like a slight green hint to it. Then we have Potion, which is another matte shade. This is a warm reddish brown color and then the last one of the second row is called spark which is a matte hot pink really like that color kind of want to incorporate that in here somehow today so maybe we will and the last row we have kaleidoscope which is a metallic silver oh it's got like a little shift to it too like a brown shift almost what does that say Elfish is a brown. It's a matte brown with like a purple undertone. We have Mooney. Ooh, that one's really soft, which looks like this. It is a baby pink. I think that one's more of a satin than a metallic. And then we have Mermaid Boy, which is a blue brown shift duochrome color. And that's the 12 shades. Very pretty. Okay, so. As per usual, we don't know what we're doing today. Um, we're just gonna play. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these off my arm, at least try to. So, so far with the Kathleen Lights ColourPop stuff, I have had hits and misses. I really, really, really like the So Jaded palette. I didn't love the Zodiac palette. So I'm hoping this one is more like the So Jaded palette. Getting my mirror, because again, this one doesn't have a mirror. The Zodiac one did, which I definitely appreciated, though. Okay. We're going to start with Shooting Star, which is the terracotta -y color. And I'm going to pop that with a fluffy brush in my crease. Lots of kickback. Ooh. I'm going to set this palette down. I don't know why I'm holding it awkwardly like that. I do like that color. Very soft, blending out nicely. I have one color on my lid. This is blending out really nicely. <laughs> that hot pink in here is kind of like throwing me off. Like I really want to use it, but I also don't know what to pair it with. So I don't know what I want to do with it. I think I'm going to use it next though, just to force myself into using it because I really want to. So I'm going to take a small little brush, if I can find one here. I'll use this one, this one's small enough. This is a e.l.f. blending eye brush and I'm gonna go in with that pink, which is called Spark. I'm gonna go in just a little bit. I'm gonna put that right in the actual crease. Hit it again real quick. 
Okay, yeah, that one's building up. It's a lot lighter in tone than it is when you swatch it, which is fine. Ooh, there we go. Takes a little building. Maybe we'll do a halo eye. That could be fun. I haven't done a halo eye in a minute. I like this shade. It's pretty. It's not as like neon as I thought it was gonna be, but I kind of prefer it this way. It's a little more tame and it builds up nicely. So if you wanted this to be calmer, you definitely could. Ooh, what was going on in my nose right there? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna ignore that. I think it's an indent from my glasses, but we're gonna pretend it's not there and I'll fix it later. <laughs> Along with whatever that is. Okay, now let's take Potion, that like terracotta y brown shade, and I'm gonna put that on a fluffy brush and I'm gonna go on the inner and outer corner of my eye on the lid. Just slightly to give like some dimension on the inner and outer for the halo eye that we're about to do. Yeah, these are blending nicely, I like them. Kind of stamping it and blending. I feel like I've done a lot of pinky red shades lately. Maybe my mind's just in Valentine's mode, I don't know. And then I'm going to take the same brush and go ahead and do that on the lower lash line as well. Just on the inner and outer half. Okay, that looks a little funny. I'm going to take Spark and blend that just below the lash line. So <clears throat> now let's get a metallic shade and I'm going to pop it on this little brush here. This is an S on this glam short shader. I'm going to use, hmm, I want to use, do I want to do the silver? I think I want to do the silver. So I'm going to take kaleidoscope and I'm going to put this on the lower lash line, just in the center, blending those colors together so that it doesn't look so awkwardly barren on the bottom there. And then we're going to take a flat brush. This is a Luxie Precision Crease. And I'm gonna take that same kaleidoscope color. I'm not gonna wet the brush yet because you know we wanna try it. I'm gonna pop that in the center of the lid. It's pretty, but it's not what I want it to be. So we're going to spritz the brush. Just use, I've been using this little guy. This is a 97 cent in studio um, little spray that we tested out. I've been using this to wet the brush and I love it for that. So it was worth the 97 cents. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the pigment that we want. We're just blending this back and forth in the center of the eye, like so. I'm going to go in with a little bit more. And then we'll do the other eye as well. I like this color, it's pretty. Actually using the same brush, but putting a little more on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take some more of Spark on that pencil brush and go back on the lower lash line with it. Just a little bit more. 
I feel like my lower lash line is kind of getting lost here. And then we're gonna also take that color again and put it higher in the crease. Like so. I look crazy yet? I feel like I look a little crazy. Kinda like it. Okay, and then I'm also gonna take more of a potion and run that along the lower lash line too. Just cause I feel like it might be a little bit too pinky. I feel like we messed that up quite a bit. Whew. Yeah, I kind of look like I got punched. I'm going to take this little brush here and I'm going to go in with Sweet Dreams and put that in the inner corner. And Brow Bone Highlight is pretty. It's got a pink shift to it, but not so much that it's going to be too deep. I think it gives a nice amount of pinkness to the brow bone. Going with this look. And I'm not wetting the brush at all to do this because I don't want it to be as intense as our, lash, or as our lid shade is. And then let's go back in with Potion a little bit more and pop more of that on the inner and outer corner on the lid. I almost feel like I want a blue liner. Is that weird? I kind of want a blue liner. I think I have one, yeah. I have one right here. This is the Elf J Kissa liner. I can't get this anymore, but any blue liner will work. I'll pop that in a lower lash line. Yeah, I kind of like that, okay. I don't know what is on my eyebrow, but it's driving me nuts. There we go. Okay, now let's pop on some mascara and see what we're working with here. I'm gonna use the Ciate Wonderland mascara. I'm trying to stay clear of my Too Faced for <laughs> at least one video. I do like this mascara though. Similar wand. I get to stand in awkward silence while I do my mascara because I'm not good at talking while I do mascara. I like that. I do think I want to take like a clean fluffy brush real quick and just kind of run it along the lower lash line just because I feel like I went a little too heavy on the lower lash line. I do wear glasses so that'll combat it a little bit but that might be a little much. We'll go ahead and do the crease as well just to blend. A little bit more. Okay. I think it turned out nicely with this lip color too. I didn't know what I was gonna do, but this is the lip we went for, so. This is the Dose of Colors something. If you're curious, Dose of Colors Nude Mood is what is on my lips, if you're curious. I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay. Doing my second layer on this eye. I 
it's the finished eye look. I like it. It's not like as intense as I thought it was going to be when I first started, but I like it. I'm going to hit a little bit more kaleidoscope. Yes. Okay. Just a little bit more on both eyes. Just because of all the blending, it might have gotten a little lost. Yeah. Okay. I like that. On my lash line as well. And I think that is the finished eye look. I really like it. I think um, it turned out nicely. I like the colors together. I do think the pink shade Spark um, got a little bit lost with all the colors I was blending, but that's okay. I still like the way it turned out. I think Spark um, would be a great lower lash line color. Maybe if you're like scared of color, but you want a pop of color, do like a neutral eye and then throw that on the lower lash line. I think that'd be real pretty, but I really like this palette. I definitely want to play with more of the shades, the blues I really want to play with, so I will for sure be playing with it some more, but I like it. I think, I think So Jaded is still my favorite of the three just because there's more options, but this one's, this one's a really good one too. This is my second favorite, and then unfortunately Zodiac's going to be my least favorite of the three, but I like the way it turned out, so yeah, that's everything I have for you guys. Don't forget to like this video before you go. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.